Hi everyone, I'm Shane Solomon Prince. I'm from Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. And I am a Latin American studies major concentrating in sociology here at um, UCSD. My research focuses on um, migration, especially the migrant crisis that is currently um, attacking Venezuela. As a neighboring country of Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago has seen a major part of the Venezuelans who are fleeing the economic and, and social crisis that's happening in their country. As a result of the uptick in Venezuelan arrivals to Trinidad and Tobago, uh, we find that the Trinidad and Tobago government is having difficulty in managing not only the arrivals, both regular and irregular, but the government also seems to be having difficulty in remedying the legal issues around what it means to be an asylum seeker, what it means to be a refugee. So my research here at UCSD focuses on the legal aspects of migration in Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm trying to, by looking at the law, by um, evaluating the efficacy of the Trinidad and Tobago Immigration Act of 1969, I'm looking at what possibilities are there for amendments, for re uh, new policies, for the repeal of certain policies, so that Trinidad and Tobago could become an emergent migrant state, right? Because like many of the countries that we are accustomed to in the global north, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, etc., who have founded their populations on migration, Trinidad and Tobago also did that. But Trinidad and Tobago, like many of the other um, countries of the West Indies and of the Caribbean in general, are former colonies of European hegemon. And because of that, their populations were made, were formed by those European powers. Now that they are sovereign nations, they seem to still be reliant on those colonial era laws in order to manage migration. And that's where my focus lies. What do these countries need to do in order to better manage their immigration apparatuses and bring themselves into line with the global migration regime?